all those Chinese restaurants, they only take cash only all. They're just like trying to cheat the government. Like seriously, so, like, these are like, small mm-hmm. businesses. Like, yeah. what about the subsidies that government give to these big, big corporations yeah. that flop and have to buy them out, like GM yeah, 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 and things yeah, like yeah. that? Like, how many billions are those? Yeah. Or what about, you know, Nestle that take our water for next to nothing and sell it to us for $2 <laughs> in a bottle? American companies taking our natural resources at pennies. But well, we can't say anything bad about the American No, no. No, no. They're, they're our friends. <laughs> we love U.S. <laughs> no, I'm just saying that, yeah. you know what, like, everybody take advantage, you know? Uh, like, the rich is always going to have tax shelters, yeah, yeah, right? For sure. Um, but the question is, what are they uh, contributing to society? Yeah. Are they employing people? Yeah. Right? Like if the 1% is employing like, you know, tens and thousands of people, it's giving them a livelihood. Do you think right? it's a battle between the poor and the rich? Whatever you it want seems, to define it as seems the poor. Like it. it seems like that is the trend. And I do think the rich should be taxed. I yeah. completely yeah. agree with them. Yeah. But I think it's also, like I said, a global situation. Because yeah. if they're not investing here, I just found out from a friend who's from Singapore, mm-hmm. they pay no capital gains. I'm like, what? Like, we pay what? At least yeah, 30%, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, or more. They pay nothing. Yeah. I'm like, would they rather invest in Singapore or here? Duh. Like, it's a no brainer. So it's not just like Vancouver versus itself, it's Vancouver and Canada versus other countries. Yeah. So we gotta think bigger because yeah, these are yeah. global players. You know, they're coming here to vacation, they may have a second home or they may go to Whistler. Mm-hmm. But, you know, are they interested? They're, they're, they can go anywhere in the world. So we gotta, you know, like really think at a higher level. I think, I think a lot of people um, locally, they just get, they have a short-sighted perspective. They only see what they see. And they only, they read the articles and they don't really think uh, critically about, hey, what does this mean? Could it be that the journalist writing it is a little bit biased or their, the motive of the journalist writing it is to promote fear or promote awareness. But, you know, at the end of the day, they're trying to work in the best interest of their company, which is to get eyeballs. I think right? people notice change. Like, they always, you know, compare themselves to people around them, mm-hmm. right? Like, whether it's their parents, like, oh, back when my dad was 35, you know, he had a wife, he had two kids, and mm-hmm. it was only him working, my mom was at home, That's right. versus now, oh, my wife has to work. Yeah. It has to be two income in order to support yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And we're living in an apartment versus a house. So they can see, oh, our generation is having a much tougher than our yeah. previous generation. What, what's going on? <laughs> we're losing out, yeah. right? Someone's gotta like be blamed for that. Yes. Like, who's doing that? So they gotta blame somebody. Yeah. So to me, yes, things are getting tougher. It's because the competition. Like, we're not just competing with everybody who grew up in Vancouver. Like, we grew up in Vancouver, but like, ask around. How many people actually went to elementary school here? How many people went to high school here? How many people went to university here? Yeah. Like a lot of my high school friends have moved away to yeah. other countries or other cities, yeah. right? Like, and then there's so many influx of, you know, foreigners from everywhere, from yeah. Europe, from Middle East, from Africa. Like that makes up the composite of Vancouverites. Mm. So it's a, we got to think more globally instead of thinking, oh, this is my backyard. Like, this is how my parents grew up. This is how I grew up. Yeah. Right? We only see what we lose, but we don't yeah. see what we gain. Yeah. Because like back in the day, the, the city was smaller and things were different. Like so, now that the city is more advanced, more globalized, more well, headquarters. Well, before I think uh, I remember in a Toastmaster presentation, yeah. uh, a friend of mine actually did an analysis. He was saying thirty years ago, people had to only work. I think it was like four or five years to, to save up yeah. for their first down payment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's like 10 or 15 years yeah. for a down payment. Yeah. So it is a big difference. It is a huge difference. Okay. But also nowadays, look, there's a lot more billionaires. There's right. a lot more six-figure earners. Right. And back then, like thirty to $40,000 a year was a lot of money. That's oh, I know. I know scary. where the hate is coming from. I heard. <laughs> Did you guys know? Porsche Club, the average age for a Porsche, Vancouver Porsche Club, there's like over a hundred members. Yeah, yeah. Average age is 19. Wow. Yeah, so when people see like young kids driving around multi-million dollar cars, they're like, what is 
going on? They uh, can't possibly make that money themselves, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? So they must have a rich daddy or, or yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah. right? So they're like, this is not fair. And you know what? You're right. Like, this is not fair. It's not, it's not, it's <laughs> no, not we have global money from all around the world. So. Yeah. But there's a lot more opportunity to make money than there was 30 years ago. Like a lot of people, so my dad had wanted to study medicine oh. when he was young, but he didn't have the money to. Okay. Nowadays, there's like so many ways of uh, studying where it's, right. it's not super expensive. Yeah, no, I think you're right. Like the internet has blown up so many exactly. opportunities. I'm just think about the amount of jobs that we, our generation, like I'm making money as a social media consultant. Yeah, That's yeah. just one of the services I offer. But my parent generation, there's yeah. no such a thing. Like yeah. who knew you could, you know, promote Facebook and right. Instagram and right. YouTube and make money from that. Yeah. You could be a YouTube consultant, you could be a Facebook consultant, you could be consultants to doctors, helping them set up a business, you can be a uh, consultant to dentists. And here's it's, the thing, so... like with the internet, the world is your audience. Yeah. You don't have like most of the people that make a lot of money from from who I know, their audience is not in Vancouver because Vancouverites don't have enough money. I'm not saying that the global, you know, rich investors because they don't actually physically live here, live here. Like I said, mm -hmm. I think it's the wives that live here, but mm -hmm. they're they don't actually live here. They travel and go back and forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Whereas Vancouver rights who live and work and pay their taxes, pay their mortgage, don't have that much money in their pockets. So the people who actually make a lot of money, their audience is United States or yeah. on a global basis. So they have e-commerce or some other means of making money. But they live here mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and they enjoy living here, you know, and they spend their money here. They buy their cars here, they buy their house, they put their kids through school, you know, they vacation here. So. To me, like we need to be more open-minded. Yeah, you know, and think I mean, that back the world the day, is. And back in the day, it was like, oh, marijuana is like bad. I remember, like we yeah. we were very close-minded. Like Vancouver was very close-minded before, but now like open-minded in the sense like you know, gay marriages, uh, marijuana, everything's like okay, right? So, well, I think like, Vancouver's always been more open. We're called the Lotus yeah, Land, yeah. you know? <laughs> this is like hippie town for a long, long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I think West Coast mentality has always been more like open-minded mm -hmm. than East Coast, like mm -hmm. Toronto or, or, you know, like, so. Yeah. And I think that's why more people are coming from around the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, refugees not only running from their political 